if you have a heavy clay-based soil like one of these, like one of the red soils or one of the black soils, one of the pieces of advice you'll almost certainly be given is to add some gypsum. Now gypsum is available as a liquid product or as a powder and the idea of using gypsum is that it helps to bind together very small clay particles into larger particles and therefore improve soil structure. Now there is a very simple test that you can do on your soil to see whether it will benefit from the addition of gypsum or not. Now if your soil doesn't need it you really shouldn't add it because it will add extra elements that are not required in the soil. Now to do a test to see whether your soil needs or not is really very straightforward. You need a sample from your soil of course uh, and again dig down about four inches or five inches that is about 100 millimetres or so into the soil itself and get a very small sample of soil. If you need to moisten it down, moisten it down until you've got a piece that's around about that size, around about a centimetre by a centimetre or so in a nice little clay ball. Now add some very clean water. You need to use either bottled water or distilled water for this to work uh, into, into a nice clean jar or glass. About that much is certainly enough. And then carefully add that the clay ball or clay cube uh, into that water. And as you can see, that's, that's sitting in there nicely. You then need to leave that for 24 hours to see what happens to it. Now, here's some which I did exactly 24 hours ago, almost to the hour actually. And as you can see, the two different samples have got two very different results. Now, this soil sample here, as you can see, is really quite clear. Uh, no cladiness whatsoever. So if it ends up being clear after 24 hours, don't add gypsum. In fact, you could do more damage in a soil like this. Uh, this is another soil sample that we did 24 hours ago and as you can see it's really quite cloudy, a lot of suspended solids in here. So it's worthwhile in this case to add the gypsum, it will bind together those clay particles that are floating around in here and help to improve your soil structure. So it's a very simple test to do and I'd strongly recommend that if you're being recommended to use gypsum, you go ahead and do this little test. Take the 24 hours to see whether your soil will benefit from it or not. Uh, you'll save yourself some money if it doesn't need it and you'll also save yourself some pain by adding something which is not required to the soil.